Every year, three quarters of pet owners visit a veterinarian for a routine checkup or if their dog is sick. And there's things that they want you to know so you can help them help you to help the dog and everybody goes home happy. And so we talked to a vet from the Michigan Humane Society for the things that you need to know. Right, Jack? <laughs> Visits to the vet are an important part of responsible ownership. About 85% of dogs and 55% of cats find themselves in the vet's office at least once a year. So Dr. Kelly Myers shared some advice to help owners avoid common mistakes. First, tell the truth. One of the things that we really wish is that clients would be honest, right? So a lot of times they're embarrassed that they gave chocolate, even though they know it's not right. They, you know, snuck a Hershey kiss to their dog. So please be honest with us because we're gonna determine the plan of action, what tests we need to run based on what you tell us. And so if you don't give us all the right information, then we're gonna go down a path that maybe we shouldn't go down um, versus if you were to tell us the truth. Um, and sometimes you might not know what information is important or not. And so. Um, just, just let us know um, exactly what you're thinking. Stay out of your medicine cabinet. Clients sometimes will try to medicate their pets um, without calling a veterinarian first. And so sometimes I think that that's the thing that scares us the most is, um, so for example, acetaminophen or Tylenol, a lot of times clients will give that to their pets and that can actually kill cats. One acetaminophen can kill a cat. So um, I think that's probably the biggest and most scary thing. Ditch the retractable leash. The problem with retractable leashes is we often see um, pets come in that have been hit by a car because they're in that moment when your pet runs out um, to chase that bunny or whatever, um, our reflexes of locking that leash down doesn't happen very quickly. And so we see a lot of pets getting hit by cars that are on retractable leashes. And definitely in a veterinary hospital where we've got lots of pets in activity, we definitely don't want you to bring your pet in on a retractable leash because they can definitely um, get in a lot of trouble with that leash. Secure your kitty. A lot of people think, you know, um, in a blanket is okay, but really we want your, your cat in a carrier, um, an enclosed surface, and, and definitely wait until you get into the exam room to get your cat out of the carrier. A lot of times we see clients trying to get their cats out in the lobby, and there's dogs, and, um, and if that cat were to escape um, one bark from a dog and they're up in the ceiling and they're out the front door, and we just won't get them back. Um, cats, when they get scared, have a tendency to go and hide, and, and so it's, it can be really scary. The nose doesn't know. Clients will come in and say, my dog's nose is dry. There must be something really wrong. So dogs' noses will change. Sometimes they're dry, sometimes they're wet. They change every few hours, just depending. Um, there's really no predictability to it. So there are some diseases like severe di dehydration that will absolutely dry out your dog's nose. It will dry out their mouth. It will dry out their eyes, not just their nose. So, um, so really, the nose really doesn't have much to do with that. Um, more commonly, if their eating patterns change or their urination or defecation patterns change, that, that's when we start to worry. Consider rats. Rats actually, you know, they, they really don't bite. They're very gentle. They're very handleable. Um, uh, small kids can handle them well. They're pretty calm, whereas hamsters and mice have a tendency to move quickly. Um, and so the child's first response is to squeeze down. And so rats seem to be a little bit gentler. They like to snuggle so, you know, they can carry them on their shoulders. So um, my daughter had a couple of rats and um, they were absolutely fantastic pets. Wow, I would never have thought rats. Oh my god! Little claws. <laughs>